Hello, YouTube again. It's me. And I got another <coughs> combat shirt to do a review on. So, here we go. This is the frog. Uh, I believe it stands for Flame Resistant Organizational Gear. I'm assuming. Uh, used by the Marine Corps. Obviously, it's not the... I don't know if you can see it, the U.S. Army version. But I got both now. Um... Just going to give a quick review on it. Um, maybe some difference between this one and the other one. Uh, Alright, well, for starters, as you can see, it's different color. It's definitely not ECU print, it's more fat. Um, and they're flame resistant. So, much like the Army Combat shirt, these happen to be, you know, fireproof. They're not Nomex. Uh, it says actually right here. They are made out of, just for specifics, aramid, cotton, nylon, and 3% other. Dry fire, dry release. The torso is made out of monacrylic and whatever. I can't even read it. <clears throat> Alright, well, this is much like the, uh, the multicam one. Um, the multicam has a wicking shirt that feels more like a Under Armour. Uh, wicking shirt, it's more slick, it doesn't feel, it doesn't have a, a cotton type feel to it or anything like that. This just feels like, feels more like a pajama, really. I haven't field tested it yet. Um, pants came with it as well. Uh, again, they're made out of a different material. They do not feel anything like, um, like a top, a Marpat top would. Marpat top usually feel real, uh, it's just a big difference in it. Um, uh, they just they totally feel different and uh... well this is the only there's a good review right here or good view it's got a good zipper it's got a turns into a mandarin collar so but for the most part <clears throat> it doesn't really it, it's a little it's a little inconvenient the mandarin collar as opposed to the other one uh, the other one feels very more like the material actually being used there than this one. And uh, the only flaw I see in this is really nothing except for... I know that some of them are made by Cry Precision, which makes Multicam as well. And uh, this one's made by Cropper, which actually makes the Marine Corps, you know, uniforms, the MCC you use. Um, and... I don't know. I haven't again. I haven't field tested it yet. I've put it on. It feels very lightweight. Uh, it feels very, uh, very comfortable, very breathable. Uh, I absolutely see nothing wrong with it. There's no harm in owning one. Blackhawk makes one that has a ITS integrated tourniquet system that I've yet to see. I've yet to try out. Um, I can't really give you that much of a, you know. I can only give you a, uh, a comparison because it hasn't been field tested. The one thing I do love about this shirt, though, is um, these sleeves do not feel tight whatsoever on them. They, uh, they actually have a very loose fit, as aside from the, the actual torso, the wicking shirt. That feels very, very tight, but the sleeves happen to have a very uh, loose, loose fit, as opposed to the Army Combat shirt, where they're very, very skin-grabbing, and I feel like I'm uh, Spider-Man wearing that shirt, so... Uh, overall, uh, from it not being field tested yet, um, just look wise, it's awesome. Uh, you know, uh, it's breathable. Uh, it looks to be tough. So, it's gotta be. I mean, it's made for the Army. I mean, for the Marines, I'm sorry. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's the only review I can give so far until I uh, field test it and until I actually compare it to another combat shirt meaning this one and another one so um, that's all I can give uh, if you can find one on eBay uh, which is where I got this one um, they run around 100 to 155 above 200 uh, some include pants some don't more people just want the shirt than anything um, if you can get yourselves the hold of one airsofters, you know, then, uh, yeah, go ahead, use it, um, you know, it'll, it'll definitely help out on those hot times and everything, and, uh, it'll also build to your, uh, you know, to your Marine Corps, uh, loadout, so, uh, I guess that's it for now, 
Uh, there's really nothing else I can say about this shirt. If you have any questions or I forgot to mention anything, uh, I'll either post it on there or you know you can just send me a send me a message or send me a comment or something. You know. So.